Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the blog at Best Buy Canada, and this time it's with a quick look at the Jimu Robot Builder Bots Kit from UB Tech, which is a robotic build set that you assemble yourself into one of two different official modes, or you can come up with something entirely original yourself. And the official modes are basically construction vehicles. One is called Grabber Bot. That one kind of resembles an excavator or a digger. It's the one with the long arm and the claw at the end. And the other, which ironically is called Digbot, looks more like a bulldozer or some sort of plow. And that's the one that I built for my test. So we're going to talk a little bit about that build. And I'll show the end result in action. And I'll also give you a quick look at the Jimu app, as well as discuss some of the things that you can do with that. So let's get right into it. Okay, first things first. What all comes with this set? So inside the most organized product box that I probably have ever seen, you're going to get four servos, one infrared sensor, one LED light, one lithium ion battery, one charging adapter that plugs into any standard wall outlet, a whole bunch of different snap together parts including four different kinds of connector pegs and one main control box so basically the brain of this thing and that will talk to your smart device through a bluetooth connection in conjunction with the freely downloadable Jimu app and that app of course is compatible with both android and ios based smartphones and tablets and i'm not exactly privy to the minimum device requirements to work with this set so you might want to do a little bit of digging to find that out and make sure that your phone is worthy. Now, as for the build process itself, well, assembling this thing was pretty freaking fast. Way faster than what I expected for a set with over 350 total pieces. It only took me about two hours in all, and that was with trying to film and photograph some parts of the process as well. And also, while listening to a hockey game on my phone, which is the same phone that I was using for filming, and also for following the build instructions on. Because one of the interesting things about this particular kit is that it doesn't actually come with any paper instructions. They're all entirely app based and I was pretty skeptical about this when I first opened the set and realized that that was the case. I thought for sure that I wouldn't be able to see the diagrams of the various steps on my very small smartphone screen and that it would make the build really difficult to complete. But I'm very happy to say that I could not have been more wrong in my fears about those instructions. The detail given and the fact that every single minute step or micro step is given its own very clear image or animation and sometimes more than one. And these show very clearly what components you'll need and how basically that you put it all together. And there's even a progress bar that lets you see exactly how far along in the build you are as you go. So very, very cool instructions. And of course, this might be a first for me, but I never made a single misstep in the entire build process of my DigBot. It all went just as smooth as silk, and I was very, very impressed. Now, I was also happy to see that there were no tools required to complete this thing and that all of the connections are made through color-coded pegs. It's always very clear in the instructions which peg you need to use too. So each color is a different size, basically, and you really can't make a mistake with this build. Overall, that turned out to be my favorite part of the process, the build that is. Now, once your bot is built, you can start playing with him and controlling him via the Jimu app. And I think that my favorite part of this was just basically driving it around and making it lift and lower its scoop and turn its little LED that's mounted on the top and that sort of thing. Uh, that little LED almost kind of looks like an eye looking at you, so it's very, very cool. And the DigBot drives around very well on its tank treads, and it's really quite a lot of fun to control. But you can also do different things within the app, such as access the actions feature, where you make your bot perform all kinds of interesting actions and make weird noises and stuff or you can do educational activities with the app such as starting up the coding feature and doing blocky coding to program your bot to do basically whatever you want him to do. And there's even a Jimu community that you can plug into and share your own unique builds 
or see other people's interesting designs, although you do have to make an account to use this feature. But it is very cool that you can communicate with other Jimu enthusiasts and share with and learn from each other. Of course, Jimu has its whole own backstory, and there's various other sets that you can get and characters and whatnot that you can build. So it's really something, you know, quite a bit bigger than just this one set. And I think that's a pretty cool thing. So yeah, overall, I did like the Jimu Robot Builder Bots kit. And I would recommend it for the right type of user, you know, someone with an interest in engineering or build toys, or someone that tends to gravitate towards toys that promote learning in the STEM fields. Because that's exactly what this set, and indeed the entire Jimu series, is all about. Uh, for those that aren't really into this sort of thing, though, it might not be such a good fit. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about the Jimu Builder Bots kit for now. I do encourage you to investigate further and learn more about these sets, though, because you know there's only so much that I can cover in a brief review like this. But I do hope that it was helpful anyway. And you know, you can find more details in my complete written review over at Best Buy Canada's blog. And there's lots of other cool stuff over there as well. So do check that out if you feel inspired. But anyway, that's all for me for now. So until next time, this is Leo Bond signing off and saying thanks everyone for watching and have an excellent day.